Hey guys, if you just got this error message, it's okay, it's no big deal actually. So most likely you plugged in a USB drive, external hard drive, external SSD into your Mac and right now it tells you this. And it's because you had it hooked up before to your Xbox or PlayStation for example, any of those consoles. And what happens there, maybe you didn't remember, but you actually formatted this inside your console. So that way it's kind of protected so you won't be able to just open it up and edit stuff within it and that they do that on purpose so you won't be messing around with their consoles and with any information within here so yes you could eject it you just keep using it for whatever console however if you want to get it back you want to use it on, as a normal external ssd usb drive external hard drive you can go ahead and click on ignore so click on ignore then on disk utility right here you should see this. So you should see your internal and external. So it doesn't matter what brand external hard drive you have or USB. So this is the brand right now, but it doesn't really matter. It could be anyone. It does not matter. Once again, you can click on it and format it. However, let's say you guys don't see that. Well, on the top here, you will see top left hand side. Just click on it and you're going to see this show only volumes and then show all devices make sure to show all devices so you see everything in disk utility. Then just a quick reminder that disk utility is something that's pre-built into your Mac. You don't have to download it. And if you want to look for it, just go on the top right hand side of your screen, look for your spotlight and just search up disk utility. That's going to pop up for sure. Now this is no matter which Mac you have at the moment. Right now we're just going to click on external. Once we click on external, we're going to see this information. And what we have to do in order to actually use this device is erase it, which means we're going to delete everything from within the device. So if you guys had anything saved there, so I have obviously saved games in there for my Xbox. I don't really care. They've already been transferred on. I really just want to use this as a regular external hard drive. I no longer want to use it on my Xbox, and that's why I'm erasing it. So I'm going to delete everything within it. So again, it's going to delete everything. It does say erase and it's technically formatting. So we're going to click there. And then once we click there, we're going to see these options. Now there's so many options for this. I do have another tutorial that teaches you how to format external hard drives and goes a little bit more in depth. However, for now, let's just say that you want to use this as a normal external hard drive. You could go for this or you can just go for journaled which is what we always been using. Or if you want to use this for your PC and Mac, then definitely go for XFAT. And by the way, if you do want to partition this in the future or right now, make sure to choose this option, partition, to do not choose master. Now, before you choose what you want, make sure if this is an SSD, most likely you're going to want to choose APFS or just a regular external hard drive, then extended is fine, journaled. Once again, if you're going to use for PC and Mac, go on for XFAT. In this case, although this is an external hard drive, we can just go for APFS. It's not going to be a problem. We're just going to name this transfer. You can name it anything you would like, but that's just the name I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to add in tech and design and I'm going to erase this. So here we go. Again, this will eat, delete anything that's within the external hard drive, not anything in our computer itself, just the external hard drive or USB stick, whatever you're having problems with, it's going to do that right now. And yes, APFS technically should be faster, but it's always been said that for ex older Macs, it's usually better to just go journaled. So I'm just going to click on done and there we go. That's it. Right now you should be able to see this. So if I open up finder, I'm going to see it under locations. There it is. Transfer tech and design. So here we go. And it's obviously empty, so I can use it right now as a regular external hard drive. I can just go ahead and copy over stuff here or just drag everything over, which is exactly what I'm going to do at this point. So on my desktop, I have a ton of videos that I need to drag over. I'm just going to highlight them, drag them over, and that's how I can transfer them. I personally like just dragging over stuff. You guys can copy and paste whatever you like, but this video was just to fix this problem. So right now everything's working just fine. I'm going to leave this going and that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.